finally part two of, of my Shemigami Tensei Persona 4 review. This is what non battle is like. Like, you know, like Persona 4, go to school, hang out with people, form social links. So that's what I'm going to get into right now, social links. Alright, so by hanging out with certain people on certain days, you can form or increase a social link that you have. Now each social link has uh, 10 ranks, and only a couple of them are part of the story, and all the other ones are optional. But as you increase a social link, it enhances the power of credit. Uh, like it, it gives bonus experience to that persona that you create of that same arcana. But say for if you create a social link with a party member, that's like a persona user. That means they'll actually do different stuff during battle that'll help you. So for example, if you're rank two, they'll put if you're about to take a mortal blow, the, that character will push you out of the way. If you're if that rank is level three, then um, they do like a follow up attack. So that's only when you get one more, then they do an attack. And that takes up the turn, though. Alright, so that's basically social links. Um, now, this is school. Um, in my opinion, the graphics ha actually have improved quite a bit. From If you actually think about it. I mean, first off, I like how it's a ground level. Like, it's a normal RPG. I mean, I'm not saying Persona 3 is not normal. I'm just saying I like it. I like it like this better. I mean, I have encountered some slowdowns. N nothing major, like, hardly any slowdowns. I mean, I've only encountered a couple. But, you know, every just thing looks great. Like, as you can see, the school's really not that great looking because you're in the countryside. Alright, so I'm not going to hang out with anybody right now. Cause that's, oh, see, slow down right there. It's going to take too much time. Um, also, the main character has five main attributes. Um, unlike Persona 3, you actually have five main stats. You have courage, diligence, understanding, expression, and knowledge. Each parameter will increase as you do different activity daily activities. Such as studying, reading bo certain books, um, defeating bonus bosses, which increases your courage, you know, stuff like that. And you'll need certain, you'll need a certain amount of a certain uh, specific characteristic to actually hang out with a certain person. Um, you know, same thing as Persona 3 for the most part. Also, you have the shortcut button. Yes, my favorite. If you press square, you could actually just click somewhere you want to go and not have to run all the way down there. You know. That, that's handy to me. Alright, so the town map. Town map, I mean, it's just, I know it's just a town map, but it does look cool. You know, look, look at that, it shows all the buildings in the bottom, it gives you a little overview of what the place looks like right there, you know. Alright, so now we're going to go to the Central Shopping District. Uh, if you go to Juness, that's like the, the big superstore that's causing all the other stores to close down and whatnot. Um, if you go there, you can actually go inside the TV. Alright, that's the velvet room. Nobody else can see it. That's a safe spot. As you can see, people are actually walking around for, like on like Persona 3. Uh, there's also a place called Metalworks where you could actually forge and create new weapons by selling the guy material. So if you click talk on that particular menu, he'll be like, if only I had this, I can make a certain type of weapon or accessory or whatever. Alright, so here's the town bulletin board. That means you get it, it. I'm studying real bad. Why am I studying? Um. If you go on the town bulletin board, you could select different, several different jobs, such as envelope constructor, translator, and origami crane folder. I did not know that was a job. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so say I click on this, right? Now it gives me the benefits of that job, so... That, oh, that's gay. That's stupid. It's a, daily, it's a volunteer job. I don't make any money out of that. That's stupid. That's, a vol oh, that's so gay. But if, now it says requirements. That means I need a certain amount of diligence. A uh, benefit is it increases my understanding a little bit. Um, I'm not taking that freaking job for no money, dumbass. Not doing that. Uh, we're gonna go back home, I think. Yeah, should we go back home? Yeah, leave the shopping district. Uh, okay. <coughs> All right, Dojima residence. That's your house. Come on, loading times aren't that bad, I mean, not too good, not too bad. Oh yeah, the cool thing about this game is that, depending on the weather, the, the music is different. So if it's cloudy or something like that, that means that's the music you just heard. If it's raining, there'll be no music, and if it's sunny, it'll be like all this happy music and whatnot. Now that, that exclamation mark means that you could uh, increase that social link with that person. Uh, if, I view the, if I go up to the TV, I can look at the forecast. Yeah. Uh, now here's a safe spot. You can go in the fridge. You can eat different foods, which increases some sometimes your 
different parameters, but makes you sick, so you have to go to bed early, which is gay. Make lunch. Oh, you could say this is a safe spot. If you have bait, you could leave and fish. I don't know. If I fish, it's gonna take too much time. I don't feel like dealing with that. Uh. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna fish, and you could also go to your room. All right, so we're gonna fish. Ready? This is actually a pretty fun mini game. Fuck. Awesome. All right. Never mind. I don't have bait. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here's my room. Oh, awesome. Somebody's calling me. It's Yukiko. Hello, this is Yukiko. I'm sorry for calling you so late, but would you like to go inside the TV tomorrow? If we have practice enough, I'm sure we can prepare for anything, please. Alright, that's just something for battle. Uh, she just randomly decided to call me there, alright. <clears throat> alright, now you can also do certain things. You could watch TV. I could watch the weather forecast or the midnight channel. Uh, I could go to sleep. I can study. I can read on the couch, and I could do work on the on the table. Alright, so we're gonna work. Ready? We're going to translate. I need to increase my expression for Nanako. My cousin. Like, cause your cousin in the game. Uh, translating the... Our hard time translating expressions into foreign language. <clears throat> your expression has been significantly increased. You can't read this handwritten sentence. Alright. Anyway. Speculate from the context. Yes, that's very smart. Your guest didn't help you out, and now you've completely lost. That's fan freaking tastic. That's fan I'm. Oh wow, only a thousand. That's a lot. That's like one dollar in America, I think. Something about <clears throat> like one dollar is equal to a thousand yen of Japan. I don't know. That's what I heard. All right, so now I'm going back to school. Yo, Yo Chie. You think we'll show up on the Minute Channel next? Da -da. All right, there's gonna be so, so probably some spoilers here. All right, guys, um, not a whole lot to talk about. It's basically the same thing as Persona 3, but it's more fun. Like it's more interactive. Just the environments look realistic, and everything like that. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this review. I'm, I'm just gonna give you some heads up. I'm definitely gonna give the music a 10, cause the music, it, it's just the music has lyrics, you know, and it's just something you can't resist to s sing along to, even though you don't understand what the hell she's saying. <clears throat> Uh, you know, it, it's a female singer, but you wouldn't think that, that would work as a dungeon theme, but it does. And the final score, I'm not going to tell you, but I think you already know what that is. So just check the info bar for the score. So, thanks for watching Shimigami Tensei Persona 4 review for the Part 2 for the PS2.